Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sarah Starr. Thank you so much for being here. I am so excited. I finally have my haul for you guys of Halloween. I got a home goods. So this is like a collective haul from like the last few trips to home goods. And I'm definitely will be back more to see what else they have there. They have so much cuteness there. Like the Halloween decor is like amazing like a plus plus it's like almost like movie set decor like it is like so like um unique and creative and like the price is like perfect like they have such great pricing going on there so yeah let's get into this haul i'll show you what i got i'm so excited let's start with the first thing um this here it is so cute i picked up this gorgeous gorgeous little um doggy inside a pumpkin dressed up you know it has this like 1980s vibe to me you know, like the decor back then, there used to be like a lot of like dogs. Cause I, used, I was born in like 1980 actually. So I think I, I'm pretty sure I remember seeing like decor back in the day, like um, <laughs> with like dogs in jack-o'-lanterns, like just as cute little decor now, um, like dressed up, but, or it might've been like even further back, like in the twenties, 1920s or thirties. But this looks like my dog Buffy. So I had to get, I have a Chihuahua, like a Chihuahua mix and she's so adorable. And again, yeah, this looks like Buffy. So I'm going to call her Buffy and I love the detail on this. The sparkle is like, I, the glitter, it's perfect. And I love the little doggy paw sticking out. It's so cute. And it, it really looks like it jumped in, like the dog jumped into the little jack-o'-lantern and was like, I want to see what's inside. And, and you know, it just curious little guy or girl. I'm going to, it's a girl because my dog's a girl, Buffy. But even the face, like, oh, so cute. And the floppy ears. And then I love what is so sweet about this is the top hat. Like the hat that she's wearing is the, you know, the top of the pumpkin that was open, like, you know, for carving. And so they put the pumpkin a little hat on her and she's so cute and the little tail popping out of the pumpkin as well. And it lights up. You guys, here's the side view of it or the back view of it. It's just so sweet. Um, so I'm going to turn it on. It was $12.99 and it does have the little, like, um, little cell batteries it takes, but there it is lit up. Isn't that so precious? Oh my gosh, it really lights up pretty good. I know I, I have a lot of lights on me, so I'm not sure if it's going to really show. Hopefully it shows. I'm going to go in closer. So let me show you the difference with it off and on. There's off. There we go. And then on. So yeah, it's just so cute. You guys look at the face. I mean, and this is my favorite part too, like the hat that is so cute. I just love it on little feet sticking out. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely going to be up like even maybe in like my fall decor because it really could go both ways like fall decor, Halloween, it's so precious, so precious. Okay, so the next thing I got was, you guys know me, I love my black cats, so I had to get this beautiful, beautiful black cat love this like so much in love with this so this looks like my cat ember and i love the pink hat i love that they're incorporating pink with halloween this year it's like so such a great like change up with like the halloween colors so there's a stars on her hat and she's a gorgeous gorgeous um cat and you know again it has that like fur look to it and the green eyes like my ember the ears poking out of the hat. I just adore it. And you know, the size, it's a pretty big piece. It's made of like ceramic, like some type of like porcelain ceramic. Here's a closer view of her face. So cute. The expression is like spot on, adorable. And even the little paws, like if you have cats, you know how like their little feet, they're just so cute. Their little knuckles are showing. They're just so cute. Um, so this was $16.99, but a really nice height. Um, so there's the two so far that I got and I just love, and I know a lot of you loved her when I showed her in my walkthrough, um, and you're like, I hope that I find her. Um, yeah, isn't that so cute? She's precious. Okay. Next up, um, more black cats. Okay. So I got this one because it looks like my Loki, my black cat named Loki. So, and, um, I, I another, uh, subscriber here on my channel has a cat named black cat named Loki too. I was like, I love that. So, um, anyways, what I love about this statue is that the, the height of it is like, you can see next to 
this statue here look at it. so they're both kind of really nice size pieces um and this has it says happy halloween like almost like this is made of like stone and then we got the pumpkin and then we've got the sweet black kitty also humane society i love this they put a little tag on here that says confronting cruelty so what what i love is that they are now spreading awareness about you know how black cats are you know in the past perceived as like bad luck if you see one crossing your path or you know spooky or scary with like halloween decor and it always whenever i see that in halloween decor it breaks my heart like in a million pieces because black cats are the least likely to get adopted in the shelters and elderly cats so elderly and black cats just because of that darn stigma of them being bad luck or spooky or scary you guys they are so sweet and i know a lot of you have also because i mentioned in my walkthrough video when i saw this and it, it's on my heart to talk about it when i see black cats in halloween depicted it as scary or spooky or you know i don't like that because they're not like that they're really sweethearts you guys and they like they give unconditional love and they are so beautiful and so sweet and if you ever see a black cat crossing your path um, I always say if I see black cat crossing my path I'm gonna go and love it <laughs> and so it's only good luck you guys and they're just beautiful beautiful animals so again um, I love again that they're spreading awareness because they are sweet little babies like the black cats are sweet little babies um but yeah this is so like i said so beautiful and well done again and like a real nice like centerpiece like a focal point in my decor as well and i've never seen anything done like this either before which i love so this is 12 dollars again in 99 cents and couldn't be happy with it and i love the long tail you know black uh black cats are nicknamed parlor panthers okay because they do look like little panthers walking around your house okay they're so like like graceful and gorgeous like a panther so like i have like black pan they i don't have black panthers but it looks like i have black little mini black panthers walking around my house so cute okay next up i want to show you another thing i got is because i love cats <laughs> you guys this is so awesome okay this is incredible i bought one the other day that is a black cat for and it's already on my house like on my wall like decor because it looks like my um, one of my cats but this one is like um uh, dressed up really really beautifully the black cat that i got the picture on the canvas like this is dressed in like a victorian uh like a ruby red i should show you in this haul but it's on my wall right now the the it, it's beautiful red like tuxedo victorian-esque um anyways i'll show it in another video sometime it is so beautiful and i found another one that's dressed up like a uh, renaissance or victorian i would say this is more like a renaissance and i also got it because bath and body works is doing a lot of renaissance decor and um victorian decor and so um i just love it because i love that era like that beautiful like the clothing and the regalness of it and i've always said if i can go back in time it would be the victorian era i would love to like just go back in time for a day or two and live the victorian life um the clothing the architecture the interiors the food, everything I'm so intrigued by. So this kitty is so beautiful and I love that it looks so regal. It looks just like gorgeous, the headpiece. Um, I mean, isn't that stunning? I just love it. And look at the side of it. It's really well done. Like, I love this. It looks like something that could be up at like an art museum. This, it really does to me. I think it's so pretty and so, it, I like the jewelry on, and I love the little, uh, the collar right here. I forget the name of that, but like in the, the way they used to dress in like the renaissance period that ruffle almost like a ruffle collar and then the long whiskers it's just gorgeous this was nine dollars and 99 cents all right so the next thing i want to show you is i got the pumpkin yes i picked him up he's so cute had to have him he was my first thing i bought um <laughs> For Halloween at Home Goods, like he is just so much fun. He's got so much personality. I love, love his like sport coat that it has actual like lines in it, like material. Even like the back, the detail, like the little, you know, the how the back of a coat has that little like like slit in it. Um, I love the size of it. It's really a nice tall piece. It was nineteen and ninety nine. 
and uh, I just think I love the orange with the black, the striped uh, bow tie that he's wearing. He's like really dapper and uh, he's like a pumpkin man. And I, what I love too is his penny loafers. I'm like, oh my gosh, his penny loafers are like everything with his white socks. So he is like so awesome. He's so handsome. <laughs> I love his hand behind his back too. Like, And then also the detail again, so much detail that with his hand in his pocket right here, his sport coat is like the kind of like shifted a little bit. It's not like straight line. That's how much detail is in here. You see how like the bottom of his sport coat is like shifted? Yeah, and even his pants have like creases in it, and everything like that. So he's a really great piece to have. And again, it's a like a pumpkin man. He's got like human hands and then like a pumpkin face, like a jack-o'-lantern head. So I'm really happy to add him to my collection. So I'm gonna um, set him, him over here so you guys can see the height of him in comparison to like my candle holder. Look at, he's pretty tall, right? He's pretty tall, I love him. Okay, also, Oh, let me um, show you this. I got this at Michael's. So this is, oh my gosh, you guys. I want to show you this because it, I just got one thing when I went there. I did my walkthrough because I'm going to wait for the things to hopefully go on sale. But I could not like go home without this. This is so awesome. This is, of course, a wreath hanger, right? What I love is that the decor piece, they put the hand, the skeleton hand down here instead of up here, which typically a wreath hanger has like the the... the you know, piece right here, the decorative piece, but down here, it looks like it's holding the wreath, you guys. I showed it in my walkthrough, um, an example of it holding a wreath, and it really looks like it's holding onto the wreath, and it brings attention to not only the hand with the cute black ribbon, but also to the wreath. So I, there's a lot of like detail in this, and it's like flocked velvet. Also, it was $9.99, and I had a 20% off coupon, so I was like, yeah, I'll get that, because this was like, I have the receipt. It was with tax, $8.00 and 69 cents like that is unbelievable isn't that and the skeleton hand skeleton is a lot happening in decor again this year again for halloween so like across like all the stores so um you know i just ordered some um you know items i'm waiting from bath and body works on for like skeleton stuff so yeah really excited about this again almost like a victorian vibe on this one as well with the flocked velvet and it's perfect so if you guys see this i think you should get one too i think these are so much fun so anyways you guys this is what i want to show you the wreath hanger so excited about so the next thing i want to show you is actually this is not halloween but i want to show you this real quick because these cookie sheets are amazing and i got them again at home goods and um they are a great deal this one was six dollars and 99 cents this has a very uh 1950s vibe to me love the color uh, that it is a lot of the bake were back in like the 40s 50s were like this color I believe so this was only again $6.99 it's a 15 inch cookie sheet it's like dishwasher safe um, all these like you know things it does it's amazing so I picked up this color and I also picked up the pink so I got two different sizes this one's a little bit bigger the pink and this one was $7.99 so only a dollar more and I was like this is gonna be perfect for like Christmas cookies and all that I love you know and even they're bringing pink and Halloween decor so I mean like you know there's a lot of like there's a lot I can use this for like and I just think I should be getting more of these and like you know get rid of my other ones my cookie sheets because these are way nicer than what I have right now so and they're like I paid more for my other ones and they're not as nice as these so home goods for the win on these cookie sheets you guys like really home goods for the win all right next up I'm going to show you this I got yes I got him he's so cute you guys I love this pumpkin jack-o'-lantern pumpkin like pillow like a pumpkin pillow so he is like shaggy like super shaggy see this like so shaggy and literally like a shape of a ball like a pumpkin would be and he almost looks like a pet like this could be like a like alive or something it really does like something from a movie so the lady who was ringing me up I was like isn't this so cute she's like oh my gosh she's like I was like she's, I was like it looks like I could like pet it like it's like a dog pumpkin like something like a mix <laughs> you know she's like it looks like uh like something from like the Adams family like cousin it I was like oh my gosh you're right so anyways I just am so excited that I found it and it is like a nice size it's like a really like focal point again I have an emerald green wingback velvet chair 
and it's actually like the color of my rings and so when I got home when I first bought this I put it on the chair just to see what it looks like and oh my gosh it pops it looks so good with the green sitting on the green a velvet chair and it's like it almost looks like it's like it's my chair it's just got so much personality this thing and I just like want to pet it and it's like squishy and just so cute so I hope they continue to bring out this type of um fun pillow because I've never seen this done before ever like this is pretty neat like pretty nifty right I love it and the face smiling yes I love it okay all right friends so this is like so exciting I'm so happy that I picked it up now this is broken I did buy it broken knowing it was broken um, because I didn't want to part with it I was like oh my gosh when am I going to ever see another gold headless horseman in my life so I was like I can't leave it there so anyways they did give me a discount um, they gave it to me for uh, $20 and yeah, $20 even Steven instead of 29. Um, and so she was saying that if you put it up like high enough, you won't see the broken foot, like on my fireplace mantle. If I have it like this, you shouldn't be able to see the broken, you know, foot, but you guys, let's talk about how gorgeous this is. Like seriously gold, it's a headless horseman and a lot of, again, stores are doing like headless horsemen for decor this year like bath and body works with their wallflower plug and you know like the whole like victorian uh vibe that uh, bath and body works is doing a lot of victorian vibes like um again the carriage you know headless horsemen um the, the jack-o-lantern um you know the wallflower plug and then just like a lot of that going on so anyways i am excited i got this this is so so beautiful big big piece here like it's definitely get another focal point like i love let me zoom in so you guys can see the face you see the face on the um the a headless horseman <laughs> like his face is a he's a jack-o-lantern head like a pumpkin head jack-o-lantern i don't know if it's if you say jack-o-lantern or pumpkin for him anyways he is his coat is moving in the wind like he's taken off like he is definitely in action like he is and the tail of the horse i mean and then it has like this like almost like it looks like it's almost made of like metal right or wood i can't does it look like wood or metal to you guys it is it's like a ceramic material not wood it's like a ceramic piece so if i were to you know this would break easily i think so yeah this is so cool you guys anyways i'm so happy to have it the horse is like up in the air and again it looks like it's a um he's about to take off but I am so happy about this. So would love to know what you guys think of Mr. Headless Horseman I got. And again, it came in black too and gold. Um, the black one was uh, sold by the time I went my, on my second trip there, or third trip. Um, and that one was $49.99, I believe. This one was like originally only $29.99, so a little bit less too. I don't know why, because this is just as beautiful. But uh, either way, I'm happy and I got a good deal on it for it being broken. Um, again, I don't think you guys can see the broken foot, right? If, but here it is, the broken foot a little closer. But and, oh, it's made by Authentic, or it's made by Authentic Spooky Night. I don't know that brand, but anyways, you guys, what do you think? What do you think? He's wearing his little tuxedo. Yeah, I love it. So anyways, you guys, um, that is my haul today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I would love to hear what your favorite thing is. I, you know, haul today. I am just like so excited about, about it all. I'm just like... I can't wait to go back. Like every time I go back, I find something like really cool and fun. I was like, I have to have it. So anyways, you guys, thank you again so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, I would love if you would subscribe and my returning family, a huge thank you once again for being here. And uh, again, friends, I'll be back soon to see what else Home Goods has and do a store walkthrough for you guys. And uh, thank you again so much for being here, friends. I'll see you all very, very soon. Till next time, take care, okay? And God bless you always. I'll see See you soon, friends. Bye. See you soon.